What's up everybody? What's up my godlings out there? What's up? It's your boy, Montre. I am in my new apartment, my new place. Uh, I moved to Irving, Texas, which is not too bad. Um, still trying to meet guys out here. It's, it seems like the guys are pretty shy out here, or a little bit more apprehensive. You know, they don't want to let you know who they are. Let me make this clear. I do not mind dating white guys. I have no problem dating white guys. My pet peeve, though, is when they go and they say something to the nature of being with a black guy has always been my fantasy. Now, I have to stop you right there. I have never been turned on to think that I have been object ah, objectified as somebody's fetish or their fantasy. But you know, most people like black guys for only one particular reason. Uh, I've also had guys that like me just because I have long hair. Well, what happens if I decide to cut my hair? You're not going to like me anymore? You know, of course I can't change being black, but it's just like, well, that's just only one part of me. I mean. You just like me because I'm black, you know, you just like me. And I understand people have preferences. I mean, there's some white guys that like black guys. There's some white guys that don't like black guys at all. Uh, I happen to have my preferences too, but, you know, I am open to everybody. I, I'm, I'm objectified, and it's a fantasy. So, I don't know, I just get to this point where I'm tired. I am so tired of being people's fantasy. And I wrote that on my Facebook. I said, I don't want to be a fantasy. I want to be a reality to somebody. I know people sleep around and they have sex and they want to, I guess, fulfill these fantasies that they have. They've, maybe they've been uh, in the closet for a long time, they've had all these apprehensions, and they haven't been able to do what they wanted to do sexually. And so now they they have this chance, they have an avenue with the internet, you know, so they can just do whatever they want to. So they just want to have sex with certain types of guys. To fulfill their fantasies. Now I have fantasies too, but there's things that you can change. I mean, I like guys who wear ties. I don't know why it turns me on. I like guys who wear certain colognes, you know? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you that because then all y'all will be wearing that cologne and be like, hey. It just, I don't know, it, it kind of irks me a little bit, you know? I, I don't want to be somebody's fantasy, you know? I'm sure a lot of, not a lot, it makes me sound all vain. I'm sure a few guys, or girls too, you know, have you know, fantasize about me, and I don't mind being a part of your fantasy, you know, if you want to dream about me and whatever, you know, and look at my pictures or whatever, I mean, dude, keep it to yourself, don't tell me, but I don't want that, I don't want to be just, that's the sole reason, you know? I like to get to know guys for who they are, because it makes sex something more than masturbation. Because if you don't know who you're having sex with, if you know nothing about them, yes, it's exciting for the moment, but it's just like masturbation. You're just by yourself. You know nothing. The only person you know is you. And then there's somebody else just kind of there with you. Intimacy is a very scary thing. So I'm going to see how, how well I do with this. <clears throat> we'll see how far I get with that, okay? Let me know what you think, or if, you, if anybody's ever objectified you, what have they said to you? What kind of things have they said to you that made you feel like less than a person? Or was it a fetish that somebody got off just because you had it or something of your character? What, what is it about you that is kind of, that you get objectified about? Maybe it's how big your dick is, I don't know, or how big your butt is. Or, you know, you've got pretty eyes. Oh, I love you because your eyes are so pretty. You know what I mean? Sorry, their context. Do you still love them? I don't know. You let me know. Tell me. Because uh, if you don't do it, then who will? I'll see you guys later.